Can we endure another brew day today after one yesterday? I think we freaking can. small box here, here, which should contain some valves. Now I found this company online called BES Limited. They're a plumbing supplies firm and they are marketing stainless steel two-part lever valves, full bore, for about seven quid. So I went ahead and bought a few just to see what they're like. They are 316 stainless. As you can see, they're full bore. Hello. And they look the part to me. They look the part. So I'm quite impressed, actually. Right, let's put that there. We'll pop this to one side. Now for the big boy. I've been on hop.exchange and I found a bargain. So I kind of snapped it up. There are some left if anybody else out there wants some. But I got mosaic pellet. Oh yeah, baby. Mosaic pellet. Uh, has it got a year on it? I think they were 2015. I bought uh, 20 kilos <laughs> because the vacants fly now. So, yes. And what did I pay? £16 a kilo as opposed to about 34 on the open market at the minute. So, they'll get used in a couple of weeks' time. So, I'm not worried about the uh, best before date. And they're backed up, sealed, unopened. What a score. Well, that's all she wrote. We finished the brew day. There's a look onto her. English bitter. I'm just going to take an SG read in and then I'm going to move next door and start doing some decorating. Or actually, I've got some pallets to split to make a pallet style um, radiator cover. So we'll start that next. Oh, it looks bob on.
pieced a little bit. I know I was going to break a pallet down, but uh, that's not really something a skilled tradesman should be doing. So, quite frankly, I'm going to pick up where Froggy left off last week and finish the bottom of this bar. And then it'll allow me to move forwards with the back bar and treating it. It needs to get some varnish on so it can dry and I can apply more and more and more coats. So that's something I'm going to focus on now. Not many hours left in the day, but hopefully if I can get these five boards on, it's another tick on the list, another job done. You may ask yourself, what on earth is he doing, chipping that timber away? Well, we need a sink in there to obviously wash your hands before serving somebody, tip away leftover drinks, etc. And uh, we are putting a fridge next to it. I thought the fridge was 900 wide. So I've left enough space for the sink and the fridge. I've just been to measure the fridge to double check, it's 930 mil. So I've had to eat 30 mil into the three by two timber, which just left me enough timber actually. It's gonna support it, it's three inch thick. But something I didn't really wanna do. So I'm just uh, gearing up for the home now. I think it's probably, well, let's have a look. I know it's definitely gone five o'clock. Hey up Dominic, yeah. it's 6.30. So before I go, I thought I'd try one of these Pogo wild beer. I've not, as far as I can recall, tried this before. It tastes like orange mixed with mango juice. And it's tangy. Could be a little bit more bitter, I think. But anyway, I pinched it then I from stock, so it's free, don't matter. Oh, well, I think it is time to go home. I'm, I'm feeling drained. And we'll pick it up tomorrow. Tomorrow I was going to brew a Citra Pale Ale. I've got some Citra hops that need using up ASAP and I was going to make a hop monster with it. You know, something like six grams per litre in the dry hop. The only drawback is it's leaf and I don't really want to use the leaf hops. But Cellar V, like I said, it needs using up so I may as well blast it through a beer tomorrow morning and then hopefully I'll have time to come back in here and do some more work because time is ticking on. We'll see you tomorrow. Let's get scratching.